Hey, my name is Anthony Romano, and this video is going to be very quickly discussing the topic of using MCT oil pre-workout. So there's plenty of benefits for this, but I'm going to run over this very quickly because you probably already know some of the benefits of MCT oil, but I'm going to give you a bunch of extra tips to actually implement this into a fitness routine, bodybuilding routine, sports routine, any of the above. So let's jump right into this MCT oil. Okay, one of basically my favorite MCT oil that I order all the time is the Bulletproof C8 MCT, which is known as Brain Octane Oil. Okay, I mean I like Bulletproof a lot. They have a lot of high quality products, but any MCT oil that is C8 is going to be best. If it's C8 and C10, that's good, but just C8 is the best. So what am I talking about with C8, C10? Those are just different types of MCTs, medium chain triglycerides. C8 tends to be the best one. It basically gives you more energy for your brain, ketones that convert into fuel for the brain almost immediately. So, and also, even though technically C12, lauric acid, converts quicker, that comes at the risk of digestive upset, making you have to basically shit yourself. So that's why I'm saying avoid C12. Go for a high quality MCT oil. Perry, are you in there? Be right out! I hope you're not using the toilet, it's broken. Huh? The toilet doesn't flush. No, I was just shaving! But, of course, C8, C10 works just fine. And I actually have one of my, my, my best friend basically got a nice MCT oil. And one of the things he noticed was that there were a couple other bells and whistles in there, notably some electrolytes. So I'm going to get into this in a moment because if you can get electrolytes in an MCT pre-workout, you're, you're golden, okay? There's some extra benefit there. And you can watch my video on potassium to kind of understand this because basically it helps you get more electrical charge. It charges up your batteries within your cells, which is the sodium potassium pump. That's essentially one way to look at it, the intracellular battery. But that's not the topic of this video. MCT oil, it's going to convert, it's the quickest energy source you can get from fat. Now, a lot of people will know that the quick energy source is typically carbohydrates. But if you're on a keto metabolism, and even if you're not, as long as your body, you want your body to be good at using fat for fuel, because once you can get to that point, this stuff is going to be fuel right to your brain. So you will notice better cognitive benefit, especially for C8. In general, you're going to notice, uh, I know it, for me personally, when I'm doing soccer games, I've implemented MCT oil pre-workout plenty of times. When it comes to you know, lifting workouts, I've done it a number of times, but it's something I do more commonly when I have a longer duration of activity. So if I have a long workout day ahead, yeah, MCT shine. But if you're going in there trying to hit one rep maxes, I mean, I certainly think it would help, but this stuff really shines when, because it's a, you know, fats in general are going to be a, a long, a large amount of energy. They're nine calories per gram. So when you have a tablespoon of this stuff, it's 130 calories. And basically, that's immediately available. And because they can burn slower, <clears throat> it's basically like you're putting in this, you know, quick fuel for fire. Okay, like think of an actual fireplace. Like you're dumping in like logs. They don't burn out quickly, but they're able to catch fire quickly. Okay, and then from there, it's a steady stream of energy. So for soccer games beforehand, especially if I'm doing something fasted, this stuff shines. Now, if you're doing something fasted, which, cause I've done soccer games like fasted after like two, three days, plenty of times, like it's just something I've done after eight years of keto and fasting and you know, all that other stuff. So you get used to it. And in such a scenario, fat fasting would actually be so beneficial. So you can watch my video on fat fasting, but essentially it's where you're fasting already and you only implement fats. Now, Bulletproof Coffee, and you gotta give, I gotta give credit to Dave Asprey, the creator of Bulletproof, because he basically is one of the people who made this very popular fat fasting, because you know he made Bulletproof Coffee and he wanted people who are already fasting to consume it. Bulletproof Coffee is great, I have them almost every morning when I'm doing like a lifestyle-based keto, which is what I do most of, the, most of the time every year. But for people who are doing intense activity, you know, it, it, it has to be there. It's a luxury item, but anything long duration, you're going to benefit from. In the gym, you're going to notice more so benefits when it comes to 
you know, duration and energy, and I personally find blood sugar. So fat is, of course, a sort of stabilizer of blood sugar, especially if you're somebody who's in the gym and your body is actually, you know, utilizing more glucose, <clears throat> even if you don't actually eat sugar. So when you're utilizing more glucose and you have fat in the bloodstream, you know, it is going to have higher concentrations of triglyceride in your blood. But I personally found it to be better on an energy standpoint because you have this greater ability to go longer. Now, why do you have this ability to perform longer? Essentially, my keto willpower video explains that your willpower moment to moment is highly correlated to your blood sugar. So when you tank the blood sugar, your willpower reserves tank at the same time. So if you can do something that will stabilize or slow the diminishing of blood sugar, like MCT oil, you will notice great benefits. And this is where the electrolytes come in too, because in my videos about potassium, sodium, essentially there's a relationship between in your body between your blood sugar and your electrolyte concentration. So when your blood sugar is too low, or even let's, yeah, let's say your blood sugar is too low, you're not retaining as much water, your body's going to jack up its insulin so that you retain more water and stay hydrated more. But the thing is, at the expense of high insulin, you're gonna start pissing out all your electrolytes. So, essentially, if you have an MCT oil and you also have electrolytes, that is one of my endurance stacks. And that's something that's gonna be explained in my future book, Keto Cheat Codes, where I have these cheat codes laid out for all different scenarios in keto. Like, literally, even the craziest scenarios, stacks for reducing blood sugar, stacks for you know getting rid of love handles, just practical things you can implement for getting rid of love handles, different macro adjustments you can make, so many different nuances of the ketogenic diet in that book, but it's taken a while for me to finish that one, so you can go to my other programs and books that are out right now on my website, romanoketo.com. And while you're doing that, you can like the video and subscribe, but I'm not done yet. <laughs> Electrolytes and MCT is much more of an endurance-based, you know, pre-workout. When we're going into other pre-workout ingredients you could do, you could do an essential amino acid, you could do branch chains in there as well. If you're trying to prioritize fasting, even though any amino acid is going to basically end the fasted state, essential amino acids are far better. So I recommend an essential amino acid product like the ones I have listed in the description. But that's more so for people who are in intense cutting phases, they're worried about losing that muscle tissue, which on a ketogenic diet, that risk is very low because your body is using fat and it's tapped into it fully. So it's not going to con it's not going to want to convert its protein into sugar because it's not even running on sugar. It's using sugar as the background, the 20%. So it's you have a far lower risk of doing that. There's, I have other videos that explain the actual proofs behind that. But essentially, for people who are on a carb diet and you just like using MCT oil or you're fasting, people who are fasting, okay, this is the last. This is such a point I'm excited about. And I'm just. So, so glad that I thought of this right now. If any of you either do carb backloading, as I explained, so keto in the daytime, basically carbs at night after the workout, or you're just coming from a carb background here. If you have glycogen built up in your muscles, then, then your body is, of course, you know, used to not eating in the daytime. Your blood sugar is stable enough to do that, right? So it takes a while to get there. If you're an athletic individual, you probably have a better ability to do this. But if you're either on a carb diet so you have glucose stored in your muscles or you're doing a carb backloading routine, which my, watch my carb backloading video, one of the best videos on my channel, even though I love all my videos here and they're all my, my children <laughs> and you should go like them all and watch them all. But the point is, if you, you can be extra strategic about this if you simply have glycogen in your muscles the night before an activity. So whether that's a workout, whether that's a sports game, whether it's simply just a jog, adding in the MCT oil, and the electrolytes, when you already have the glucose the other day put into your muscles, is going to be very powerful because you have an extra, you know, extra resources for those explosive tasks. Now, don't be fooled. You can still do plenty of explosive tasks on a ketogenic diet purely because your body makes carbohydrates out of foods that aren't carbohydrates. Your body can make all the carbohydrates it needs. But a quick way to kind of hack that is carb backloading. So, that's one thing, but you have to be doing keto for at least a month to kind of get to that point. Or if you're just somebody who's doing fasting, right? Let's say you do an intermittent fast in the daytime and you had carbs the other day, boom, MCT oil, electrolytes, you're flying in the workout. Last thing I'll say is how to use this stuff with carbs because I've done that as well. Realistically, a lot of people, like the, the cardinal rule of, you know, fitness is don't mix carbs and fats in the same meal because then you're going to, you're going to store fat, bro. <laughs> Basically, 
I'm not opposed to mixing small bits of those at the same time. Now, keep in mind, for the hardcore paleo people, that's going to rub you the wrong way. I try to avoid that 90% of the time. But what I'm saying is, in the sports context, if I had, you know, some sort of pure starch, right? Like, let's say sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, and then I had a high-quality MCT oil. First of all, sweet potatoes, killer carb stores. Pure starch and generally free from a lot of other of the bogus and pesticides and stuff that is in a lot of the carb sources, free of a lot of lectins and anti-nutrients. So when we're looking at that combination, like a carb and a fat, the fat amount is one tablespoon. So even though it's 130 calories, a lot of times the actual harm you get from these, you know, advanced glycation end products from this mixing of carb and fat in the same thing in the same meal is going to come from the hydrogenated oils. It's going to come from foods that are just jam-packed with sh processed sugar and fat, like Twinkies, for example, okay? So when we're talking about the context of like pure starch and a bit of MCT oil, even though your blood triglyceride is gonna go up momentarily, and so is your blood sugar, you're gonna have them both a little bit raised in the same meal, because whenever you mix carbs and fats, that's what you get, a little bit of both. Essentially, that can be optimal for somebody whose body knows how to use fat. So ketogenic people, that can be a killer strategy. And even if you're not fully ketogenic, like a lot of low carb people, a lot of fasting people, even flexible diet people will do those. And you basically have a mix of this, you know, fast digesting starch and you have a slow digesting fat, except that slow digesting fat gets into your body very quickly because it's MCT. So as long as you had adequate hydration, adequate electrolyte balance, particularly, you know, high sodium potassium, but more so potassium, you could have a killer workout experience. So that should cover most of these scenarios here with using MCT oil as a pre-workout. But, you know, either way, there's so many different uses. And if you want my help with them, you can either go to my website and we can have a consultation call or you can leave me a couple, you know, simple questions in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you for watching this video. Like I said, like it, subscribe and download my free documents I got here. You know, I'm, I encourage you and urge you to go to my books and my programs on my website because they're so powerful, especially, you know, whenever this video is out, Keto Cheat Codes is probably not out, but it might be. So if it's in the description link stuff, get Keto Cheat Codes. It is a game changer. And it really is only able to be written by somebody who's had a load of experience in that area and wants to give you all of the little nuances to hack the game and hack your metabolism. You know, whether you're a keto person or not, okay? Whether you're a fasting person, keto person, flexible diet, and key, you know, intermittent fasting, doesn't matter, okay? That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Peace.